In this video, I'm going to set up scenes on my existing Rattle Select system. And as always, I thought it'd be great if we could do this together. We're going to talk about what to consider when selecting a Pico to operate scenes. We're then going to modify scenes on a Pico scene keypad and create additional scene from the Lutron Rattle Select app. The steps that will follow can be used by anyone setting up scene on the Lutron Rattle Select system for the very first time or for anyone that would like to see how easy it is to set them up. So without further ado, let's do it. Hi, I'm Xavier and you are on the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorial. So let's just dive into it. To illustrate all the programming steps, I've set up a small Rattle Select demo. I have a Rattle Select main repeater already running and the Lutron Rattle Select app already set up, as well as some lights and Lutron shades that I have previously programmed. And if you need to know first how I've done this Rattle Select initial setup, I've posted a basic step by step guide as well as a tutorial on how to integrate Lutron blinds on a Rattle Select system, and you can find the links on the description below or by clicking on the card above. One of the main characteristics of a lighting control system is the use of lighting scenes, which means that I can press on a single button and bring a set of lighting circuits to their predefined lighting level to match the activity in that room. Example of lighting scene could be a lovely, romantic dining scene in a dining room, or a TV or movie scene in the living room that will lower the light but also will bring the blinds to a lower position. But a lighting scene could also be an all house off scene by the main entrance. So I can press on a single button to turn all the lights off when I'm leaving the house, which is very convenient. On a Rattle Select system, scenes can be triggered from the Picos or by using the Lutron Rattle Select app. However, when it comes to Pico, it is important to understand that to get the best user experience, a Pico scene keypad is highly recommended. As if you use a regular Pico remote, you can add various equipment to that remote, such as lighting circuits and blinds, as I'm showing here, but their levels will always be light 100% or open for the blinds on the top button, light off or close for the blinds on the bottom button, and if you have a third button in the middle, all the equipment will go to their respective 50%. This might be useful in certain cases, but a good practice is that when we plan to use scene as opposed to a single circuit control, we should consider the use of a PicoScene keypad. And there are different button layout and engraving options available for those. So, let's configure a PicoScene keypad. First, we need to add it to our Rattle Select system as shown on our previous tutorials. By default, a PicoScene keypad is pre-configured with scenes that includes all the lighting circuits for the room is in. So here, we have all the lighting circuits full on on the top button, all the lights set to 75% on the second button, all lights set to 30% on the third one, and then all off on the last one. So now, let's say that I need to modify the relax scene. To do so, I need to select the PicoScene keypad, which is in the living room using the app. Click on Edit Device, select my relax scene. Then from the scene configuration screen, I select the black table lamp and change its light level to 10% for example. Select the white table lamp and let's say that I need this one to be off. Now, the great thing is that from here, I can also add a blind position. So I'm going to select the Lutron motorized blind in the living room and say that I need it to go to 30%. And I can do this by using the blind graphic here, like a slider almost, or by using the up and down arrow, as well as the open and close button if I need to. And we can see that the blind level is updated at the top, which is great. Now, you won't see the blinds moving while you're doing this, nor the light level when you modify them on this screen. When you're done, you will have to click save, then save here again. And now, we can test that new scene. That's great, right? 
Now, on the Ratu Select app, there is a tab called Scene. And from there, I can create, well, new scenes. It is important to note that these are the scenes that I've set up on a PicoScene keypad, but separate scene that can be only triggered from the Lutron app, unless obviously you copy the same setting as the one you use on the PicoScene keypad. To create them, I click on the Add Scene button. I give it a name and let's call this one Movie and choose the popcorn icon, then click Next. Now, on the next screen, and as previously shown, I can choose between all the lighting and blind zone throughout my house. So here, I'm going to select and switch off my black and white table lamp for this scene, as well as close the blind to cut the glare, let's say. And to finish, I click on the Done button. And the app confirms that a new scene has been added. So I click on OK, and when I'm back on the main screen, under the Scene tab, here is my new scene. So to activate it, I just need to press on its icon. That was very easy. Voila, there you have it. We've just set up scene that combine different light level and blind position on a Ratu Select system. We saw that the Pico Scene keypad is far more flexible when controlling scene than the regular Pico remote. We've modified some of its default settings and then we've used the Lutron Ratu Select app to create additional scenes that can only be available from our phones. I hope you find this tutorial useful. On the next video, we will review some additional features available from within the Lutron Ratu Select system. So please, make sure to like and subscribe so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.